I'm in Sarah's cozy room again because <coughs> she stepped out for a minute so I hope she doesn't come back while I'm here but anyway um, I told you that I would um, tell you what happened in Kenya our time in Kenya as it came to my mind because to me it's kind of like one big blur we lived there from um, January of 2006 until August 2007 eight, about 18 months but anyway so this story today doesn't have anything to do with Kenya but it happened while we were in Kenya and um, I know that many times I'm guilty of saying a miracle happened when it might not it was just something that could have happened to kind of anybody to me a real miracle a true miracle is when an impossible thing happens you know what I mean? There's lots of little, I guess, miracles that I consider miracles in my heart, but a real big, true miracle. And this is what I'm going to tell you today, a real, true miracle that no man could have done. Okay, so um, what happened was Jose's mom got sick right after we went to Kenya, but we had real peace because um, she had gotten close to Jesus, she had gotten close to God and gotten a real relationship with Him right before we went over there. And so we knew that at least, even though we were not there in the flesh for her, that God was there. But anyway, and she ended up passing away while we were in Kenya, which was very sad. We miss her so much. But this time, what happened at this time, she didn't, she didn't die. It was when she started to get sick and we had only been in Kenya like in January we went there and this I think happened in around March that she got so sick that Jose felt that he should go home because they were really not clear the doctors were not clear about the outcome <clears throat> of what what had happened but anyway what the outcome would be but anyway so he went over there and while he was there our good friends I'm not going to mention names today because Maybe this person who the story is about will in the future want to come on, but I didn't really talk to him about telling the story about him in advance, so I'm not going to mention any names. But what happened was um, that while Jose was there, um, our friend's oldest son had, um, they had a newborn baby. This is the, the first grandchild of my friends. And it was the first baby of this young couple. And, um, but what happened was, is that the father of this two week old baby was um, severely into drugs and was suicidal. And he had not had a relationship with his dad. He had been kind of like, um, not speaking to his dad really at all for about a year. Okay, and if I tell the story wrong, I want this person to come on and correct me. So I'm telling it the way I understood it. Okay, so I hope I don't make mistakes. Anyway, because I was in Kenya. The kids and I were in Kenya for the whole 18 months, but Jose did come back. Okay, so um, the our friends, who were now the grandparents of this two-week-old baby asked us and the mother agreed to it asked us if we would go over if Jose would go over to their house to dedicate the baby to God so just to say a prayer we give this baby into your hands God okay anyway that's what it means you know just saying here you go God please have mercy and bless this child okay anyway so he went over to the house and the young man was, um, you know, just sitting on the couch, hardly with any life in him at all, you know, just really um, out of it. And so after Jose dedicated the baby, he turned to the young man and said, hey, man, could I, um, could I say a prayer for you? And the guy was like, whatever, you know, he had, it was the last thing probably he wanted. So... <clears throat> Jose asked him to stand up just so that, you know, he could really, um, you know, look him eye, to, eye in the eye, I guess. Anyway, so as he was praying, all of a sudden, and I'm not exaggerating, this is what I heard happened. And um, anyway, 
all of a sudden, Jose was praying, and the man, the young man, he, the power of God just came over him, and he kind of collapsed into the couch that was behind him. And so then Jose wanted to pray some more, so he kind of brought the guy back up to a standing position, and he said, and he just started to pray again. And he was barely, you know, maybe he had a hand like on his head or on, or on his shoulder, I, I don't know. But anyway, I give you my word, he was in no way pushing this dude. But all of a sudden, the power of God came over this young man again and he fell down into the couch. So then Jose once again kind of picked him up and he prayed, when he was praying this time, the young man fell forward into his father's arms weeping and he had been out of relationship with his father for over a year. He fell forward into his father's arms weeping and the miracle was from that time forth the, this young man was completely free from all drugs, for, free from any kind of suicide desire. And he felt the presence and joy of God fill his him, him. And he has become stronger and stronger and stronger, just so, just, just with a wonderful life. Until this day, he is a, just a responsible, wonderful man. And that is the absolute truth. And I consider that a real miracle. So that happened during our time in Kenya, so that's why I told it under the Kenya umbrella. Okay? <laughs> Bye.